In this San Francisco laboratory, there are no animals or slaughterhouses to be seen. And yet these scientists have just created the perfect chicken nuggets. There's real chicken, but it's chicken cells. So no chicken had to die for this nugget. The founders of American Food Company just are adamant people are going to have to change their eating habits. Billions of animals every single day are killed for food, and those billions of animals require all this water and all this land and all this waste from all the animals go into all our water. Um, and it's not a healthy system. It's not telling people to go vegan, um, but making better meat. And maybe a better way to make meat is to take a cell of an animal instead of needing the entire animal. To better understand what appears like a futuristic magic trick, we need to head to Israel. A team there is currently carrying out the same experiments with beef. We actually have our very own cows in the lab, meet Gertrude and Alberta. And inside these cows, tissues and cells develop in the exact same way as they would inside an animal out in the wild. Researchers here extract muscle cells from a living cow. The cells, which are microscopic, are diluted in this liquid. They then grow and multiply. It's a process that is similar to when scientists produce tissue for skin grafting. Here, though, the cells will produce flesh. And inside these petri dishes, meat is beginning to form. These incubators are sort of a controlled artificial cow where cells end up being back in their original environment. It's as if they were growing inside an actual cow. This lab-grown steak is still in its testing phase, but the chef that trains at the lab believes this is the real deal. Right now we are the selected few, but in the near future it's going to... I'm sure this is eventually will be just like uh, serving uh, a good quality organic beef in a restaurant. And to keep nature is to do this. Today, cattle farming produces more pollution and greenhouse gas emissions than road traffic on the entire planet. And with the world's population expected to hit 10 billion by 2050, habits will have to change. Lab-grown meat is a solution, but is it risk-free? This university professor believes it is. Strawberry yogurt example you just gave us. With this instance, it's not uh, artificial in the sense of we're trying to mimic it. We're creating the exact same replica of the cellular structure that meat comes from. Not everyone is behind the new method, though. This Texas farmer is furious that one day we may call lab-grown tissue meat. It cells, it's stem cells, it's cultured stem cells artificially. This is not primal cuts of meat coming off a traditionally harvest livestock. That's not what this is, if they want to call it. Uh, bovine, myofibril, artificially grown uh, meat cells, go ahead. But major food processing companies, including meat companies, seem like they're ready to jump on the bandwagon. Several corporations have begun building partnerships with lab-grown meat businesses in order to revolutionize the food we eat.